Hello everybody and welcome to another Mice's Tips and Tricks video. In this week's, week's video we are going to talk about the default quantities for stock levels that are part of item master files in our stock tab. So when we drill into an item master, whether it's a raw material or a finished good, uh, we will see that in the stock tab of the master file on the top left corner, there is a rectangle with four stock value fields in it. Maximum, reorder level, reorder quantity, and minimum. We also find those same fields listed for the locations that we enter for the stocks that we keep. Maximum, reorder level, reorder quantity, and minimum. Now, we might be wondering why are these entered into different places and what is the point, if any, of entering default values here? In this video, I'll try to show you why I prefer to leave the default values as blank. Uh, let's take a look at FG1001, obviously a finished good product, as a sample. You'll notice that I don't have any default values entered here, and there is only one location entered as a location that I keep the stock of FG1001 in. I don't keep my stock in any other locations than this. In my system, I have two locations, location one, my main plant, and location zero two, uh, my auxiliary warehouse. So the same can apply to for all your materials. You can have different locations for them. Now, if I were to run uh, an MRP run, and let's just create a really basic one really quickly. We call that one, two, three, four, five, and run it maybe for a three month period to a shortage level of reorder for current activity and shortages. I want to see all the activity and shortages in all of my locations. So I will check all my locations, both location and one and two. And in your case, there might be more locations than these. And once I save and initialize this, um, in a few moments, the MRP module will give me the results. And here you will see I have shortages on four items, an intermediary item, a mixture, two packaging materials, and a finished good item, the R50. And notice that all the shortages are in location one. And when I scroll down, everything in my list is in location one. Location two is not listed at all. And the reason for that is even though I have location to specify it as a master file, as a possible location, none of my item masters list that location in their stock tab because I don't keep any of my items in that location. So this makes it uh, just show me where there is shortages and where things are okay. Now, if I were to go back to my item master file, and select the same finished good that I was working on. And this time, instead, I enter some default values there. Let's enter a reorder level of 800, reorder quantity of 800, doesn't really matter what values we're entering, uh, minimum value of 400. Uh, but I am not adding another location because I'm still not wanting to keep this inventory of this item in another location. I save the changes, I close, and I go to my planning module, and now I create a different ERP run. Let's call this different number and run it with the same settings. Again, for both locations, save and initialize. Now, what you will see here is FG1001 for location two has now been listed as a shortage. Even though I am not keeping this inventory item in that location, because I have entered a default value, then that default value gets applied to each and every location that I list on my MRP module setup tab here. If I have more than two locations and if I check all of them to see the shortage in all of them, then the default values will populate for all of those, making this list almost unbearably and for sure unnecessarily long. Because if I am not really keeping an item in a location, that should not show me a shortage. 
And for that reason, we prefer to keep the default values at zero and enter those values specific to the location that I am carrying that inventory in. If I decide to carry inventory in location two, I don't want to use default values, but instead I will enter a location and enter it specifically for that location, the values that would be used at that location. I hope uh, this quick tip helps you to use MySys more effectively.